here it is, dusk. On a beautiful late spring night here in the central Appalachians of the southwestern part of Virginia. Hello everybody, I'm Mark. You're watching the Garage Guy 879 channel. Tonight is Friday night. What is tonight? May 20th, 2022. When I'm up here at the garage late at night or out on the property or what have you, I always up and carry this right here, my Taurus TH9. We've seen this in an earlier video, and I really like this thing. It is a tack driver. I have not had any problems whatsoever with it. I mean, it, it's flawless. You know, I wish the finish could be a little better, but hey, this is a working gun, all right? Now, recently, I decided I wanted something with a little more pop, something similar to this. Now, I look in gun shops all around my area here. Couldn't find anything I was looking for. But I finally got online, and Bud's had one that I was looking for. A lot of people might say, Mark, if you want a little more pop, why not use a more potent 9mm round, plus P or something? I can do that, but I want to move up a level from 9mm. All right. What I've got right here... The Taurus TH40, chambered in 40 Smith & Wesson. Same exact thing as my TH9. As a matter of fact, if I was to do a comparison video between this and the TH9, that would be a very short comparison video because all I would honestly be able to say is one's chambered in 9 and the other in 40. Okay? Might be a couple of other minuscule little differences and we're going to check that out over here on the bench under the bright light so i'm going to get spongebob right here hello jay lee on the bench under the bright light we're going to take a first look at this okay all right my friends here we are on the bench under the bright light and we'll do a quick uh, reveal right here, okay? Really nice carrying case. TH9 comes with uh, this kind of carrying case also. And if you people remember the PT-809, uh, PT-40, 840, and the PT-845 also came with a carrying case like this. All right, we go ahead and open this up right here. We'll have a quick little reveal. Top part, you have your instruction manual, warranty card, a few safety papers. Right here, it also comes from the factory with three back straps. We have a large and small right here. The medium is already installed on the firearm itself. Magazine load assist tool right here. Uh, I have my Uplula. Wouldn't trade that for anything. You do not have an internal lock on this firearm, but you still have some uh, sight adjustment tools right here, some hex type tools. Also comes with a uh, chamber flag indicator right there. Safety lock and two steel 15 round magazines. Now let me look at these. Made in Italy right here. These are Metgar, my friends, and yeah, usually when I get a new firearm, I do like to load the magazines, all right, but I haven't yet to fire this pistol, this one right here. I don't have anything in it, and as you can see, the follower is orange, and there's a mosquito buzzing around my head, so if you hear something go thump here in a minute, it's because I took my cap off and slammed that son of a gun. I hate a daggone mosquito. <laughs> Mosquitoes and roaches. Two most useless things on this planet, if you ask me. <laughs> All right, we'll go ahead and set this right here. We'll take this out of the wrapper. And I've also done some decorating on this. Usually I'll do the initial review before I do this, but I just went ahead and done it. All right. I do have the Talon 
rubber moss cover uh, color grips on here. I think it looks pretty neat. To me, the finish on these Taurus pistols uh, right here, call me colorblind, call me color nuts, I don't know. It, it doesn't look like a true black to me. It might be a dull matted black, but it's also maybe got a little bit of a brownish tint when you look at it in the right light. But uh, and I've also done a little color field job right here, as you can see. Got that from the Heavy Metal channel. <laughs> Hooty Hoo's buddy. I really enjoy Heavy Metal's channel. Hooty Hoo also. Got it here on this side. And I, all I did was use white out. And I think it turned out really nice. As you can see here, nothing in the mag wheel. Nothing in the chamber. Point name safe direction. Good to go. Reset. Not bad. Alright, thing about this, it does have the decocker on it. We go up for safe, down for fire, decock. And of course, as on the uh, TH9, this TH40, the controls are ambidextrous. Your uh, magazine release button, uh, slide stop lever right here, and the safety, manual safety lever. You have that on both sides. Of course, this is a hammer fired handgun right here. And you do have the low profile Novex sights. See if we can get a sight picture for you. All right. Ambidextrous. And, you know, the feel of this right here, just like the uh, TH9, very 1911-ish to me. If I was to do a comparison video between the TH40 and, of course, the TH9 right here, nothing in a magwell, nothing in the chamber, Point name safe direction. It would probably be one of the shortest comparison videos in YouTube history. I'd come on and say, hello, I'm Mark, garage guy, yada, yada, yada. The only difference, one is chambered in 40, the other in 9mm. Okay, that's it. You know, even when I look at the internals on these, I really can't tell any difference whatsoever, all right? Let's just go ahead and, all right, back like that, take down, very glockish. There we go. The uh, guide rod spring on here on the 40 might be a little bit heavier or what have you to accommodate the 40 Smith and Wesson round than the uh, one on the 9mm version, I couldn't really tell you. Probably is a little more, and of course I need to do this again. Man, that's smooth. Okay, here we go. Let's put that over here, and of course that ain't going to sit up. And the camera's running. Here we go. Yeah, the uh, guide, guide rod spring. Dual guide rod springs on both. And, you know, honestly, I really can't tell any difference in length or circumference or the spring on the 40 seems to be wound a little closer together than the spring on the 9. Okay, that's the only difference I can tell right there. Yeah. All right, that's for the slides on both. Now let's look at the uh, frames here, receivers, or whatever you want to say. 9mm here, 40 Smith & Wesson there. The only difference I can tell, to be honest with you, see if I can hold these both with one hand, right here. I guess that's the extractor. This one on the 40 is straight. This one on the 9 is leaned over this way just a hair to accommodate the uh, smaller 9mm shell casing. 
other than that. Look pretty doggone identical to me. If y'all know of any differences that I'm missing, please leave me a comment. All right. Now let's go ahead and put this back together. TH9 right here. Get this back on. Man, butter, frickin' butter. All right, of course, I've put quite a few rounds through that, but like I said, the uh, TH40 here, I haven't shot it yet. Haven't put the first round through it. No problem. All right. What do you say we get outside here and wrap this video up? All right, my friends, there is one important thing I forgot to mention in the last segment. The uh, TH-40 right here does have the decocker feature, the same as the TH-9. There we go. Didn't want to leave that little bit of information out. Now, what do you say we go ahead and finish up the video? All right, my friends, what do you say we go ahead and wrap this video up? And before I do... Got to turn SpongeBob around, or I'll never hear the end of it. <laughs> anyway, uh, like I said, I've yet to put the first rounds through this, and if it works near as well as my TH9 there, then I'm going to take the Crimson Trace light off the TH9, put it on this, and this will be my garage slash property gun right here. You know, and the thing about a budget firearm. If it works well, that's great. And if I get a few marks on it, get a few scratches, what the heck? I'm not going to go into labor over it like somebody would over a CZ or something like that. Anyhow, you know, really nice feel to it, nice line of sight. And uh, I really like this malt's color on the Talon Rubber Grip right here. So if I got these things here sitting in the safe, they're in a rack and they're turned up like it, I don't have to pick them up and look at them and say, oh, that's a 40 or that's a 9. I just look and tell by the color, and I just grab it and be done with it. All right. Taurus TH40, chamber at 40 Smith & Wesson. I know there's a lot of haters out there, but, hey, if 40 does what you need it to do, then there's no reason to hate it at all, Okay. I'm Mark Garage Guy 879. When you go shooting, please be safe.